Hello, in this session we will talk about select statements column list. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. So this is the virtual desktop to which I'm connected and I'm using SAP HANA Studio as a client software to talk to the SAP HANA database. So far we have added a system in SAP HANA Studio to represent the HANA database machine and we have established a connection to that system that we have added. We have created two tables, a student and course, and we have inserted four records in each of the two tables. In this session, we will take a look at how we can retrieve data from tables. So one of the simplest method is you right click on a table and choose the option open content. This will display you all the content of the table. But at the top, you can see the select statement that system has generated to give you this view. Select statement is part of SQL structured query language and it is used to retrieve data from table. It could be as simple command as show me everything. In fact, this is what this select statement is, is doing. Show me top thousand records from this table. Or it could be a little bit more complicated meaning show me only these columns where this condition is true and it could be yet more complicated than that as well show me data from these tables where you provide a join condition here we will take a look at basic examples of simple select that you can write in reality it is not always a human being that is writing the select statement to retrieve data from the database it is the applications, the front-end applications that contains all the logic and all the screens and all the reports that users use. These applications are talking to the databases all the time and these applications issue select statement to retrieve data from the database. So select statement is not something that you will write as a human being all the time. It is something that is programmed into the applications as well so that they could be executed on the fly to retrieve data from the database whenever required. Programmers need to learn SQL so that they can program applications to generate right SQL to retrieve data from the database. In some companies, super users on the business side have access to some query tools where they can write SQL directly to retrieve data from the database. So it makes sense for business users to learn SQL as well. So we can generate an SQL command by right clicking on the table and choosing the generate option and then choosing the select statement option. This gives you a template, a select statement template for that particular table that you selected. Again we could have written this SQL from scratch without taking help from the generate command but generate command gives you a template. So if you run this SQL as it is it will give you all the data. So if I click on this green button you can see that I'm seeing the same data that I saw using the other option open content. Let's go back to the SQL tab. At the top you see two tabs, SQL and result. Okay, so if I go back to the SQL tab, now let's take a look at the select statement. So select is a keyword in this syntax and after the select keyword you see all the columns in double quotes separated by commas and then we have another keyword from and then you have schema.table. So schema is a container containing all the objects and table is one of the objects in the schema. So in your personal schema you can see you have multiple object types, column uh, views, procedures, tables, views, etc. So we are doing a select from this table and we are fully qualifying the table by providing the schema name as well. So schema.table because the same table could exist in multiple schemas. While in one schema, there cannot be two tables with the same name. So if this table exists in another schema, then it's a different table. It may have different columns, it may have different records. 
So you can consider schemas as different rooms in a house. So one house is the database. It has multiple rooms and in each room you have multiple types of objects. Four chairs, two tables, etc. For example. Okay. Now data in one room is not visible from the other room unless you give access to somebody in the other room to view that piece of data. So schemas provide segregation of data. Okay, so back to the SQL. So now you can control which columns you want to see. So let's say I only want to see the name and the fees. I don't want to see the IDs. So I can remove ID column and I don't want to see the description. Name, comma, fees. If I click on this execute button, now I'll see only two columns. Okay, so let's go back to the SQL tab. So let me remove all the columns and just put a terrace star. Select star from schema dot table. And if I click on the execute button, you will see all the columns. So star is a shortcut telling the system that you want to see all the columns without specifying all the column names one by one. Okay, now I want to see all the columns but in a different order. So let me go back to the SQL tab and do a control Z and control Z again to go back to whatever the situation was in the beginning. I don't want to type all the column names again. So let's say I want to see fees first and then description for some reason let's say I want to do this and then ID and then column. If that is what I want then all I have to do is specify the column names in the same order in which I want to see but the commas has to be after every column except for the last one. Let's execute this command and you will see all the data but this time columns are ordered differently. And also let's say for some reason I want to see name column twice once in the beginning and once at the end I can go back to the SQL tab and here I can add name column in the beginning as well let's execute this command so there is no restriction of repeating column names in the column list so if I go back to the SQL tab you have seen that in this column list you can control what you want to see in terms of columns this part is called the column list after the select keyword. You can repeat columns if need be. You can provide any sequence of columns. You can use a star as a shortcut to tell the system you want to see all the columns and so on. Later on we'll talk about what else we can do with the column list. For example, functions, constant values and so on.